In this video, you will learn how to install GVM, or Greenbone Vulnerability Management, previously known as OpenVAS. To install the Greenbone Vulnerability Management 22.04 packages on Ubuntu 22.04 Jammy Jellyfish, first you need to install PostgreSQL as the backend database server. Once the database is installed, we can then add the GVM repository by using the following command. We can press enter here to continue installing the repository. As you can see, the package list is automatically updated, so we don't need to do an app update anymore. We can now go ahead and install GVM. After a few moments, the installer will prompt you to set up the Redis database server. GVM requires a Redis database to store data. We will just press enter here, so it will configure Redis automatically. At this point, the installer is setting up all the tools and configurations needed by GVM. This will take a while, so I'm just going to fast forward a little bit here. Another thing we need to set up is the connection of GVM to the PostgreSQL database. Here, the installer is offering to set up the database using dbconfig common, which makes it easier for users to set up the database needed by GVM. We are just going to select yes here. And then we are going to select localhost as the host of the database since we installed PostgreSQL on the same server. Now it will ask to input a password of your choice, or just select OK to generate a random password. Let's just select OK here. All that has been set up, the installer will now continue to configure GVM. Once GVM is finally installed, we can then update the Greenbone NVT, CERT, and SCAP data. But first, we need to create the notice directory. And this directory should be owned by GVM user. Now, we can update the GVM feeds. To update NVT feeds, we use this command. This will take a while so be patient. After updating the NVT feeds, we can now then update the cert feeds by using this command. Then, we can update the SCAP feeds. After that, we will now update the GVMD data. There will be times when the feeds will not be updated. You can try again after a few minutes if this happens. After all the feeds are updated, we can now configure the Greenbone Security Assistant web interface. By default, the web interface is configured to listen to localhost. For us to be able to access it, we need to change it and configure it to listen to all interfaces. Then, remove the option HTTP only so the web interface can be accessed through HTTPS. Now, save and exit the file. We need to restart the Greenbone Security Assistant daemon for the new configuration to take effect. Also, restart the GVM daemon. Open your browser and input the IP of your server and port 9392 using HTTPS. Accept the self-signed SSL warning and proceed. Sign in using the default username and password, admin admin. Once login, we can now test to scan a server. But before we proceed on that, we need to check the feed status. Go to administration then feed status. You should see that all feed statuses are current. Since this looks good, we can now proceed to create a scan. Click on scans, then tasks. Then click on the one icon and select task wizard. And then, input the IP address of the GVM server, then click on Start Scan. Once the scan has been finished, you will be presented with a list of vulnerabilities found on the server. You can browse the findings, and it will also show you how to fix them. That's all for now. Drop me your feedback and comments below. If this video helped you in any way, please like share and subscribe. Thank you.